Hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're just new here, then like and subscribe. I'm trying to get some more um, subscribers. Um, I'm going to do what's called a mood bang. I'm going to um, do it with the uh, blue crab tonight. And we're just basically going to chat. Um, main thing that I was going to chat about is what I saw as far as Liv's life. She basically was saying that she did a video saying that it was all her fault about her actual... In other words, I guess she was kind of venting about some things about Gerard, like always. Um, I'm going to say this, and I, like I always say. I don't have anything against these ladies, but I'm to the point now where it's kind of getting to the point where it's kind of redundant. I mean, one minute she loved a man, one minute she don't. But um, I think basically what the rundown of the video was is that she basically was saying how she felt and was basically saying she was in her feelings about some things as far as the relationship's concerned or whatever. But um, we're going to jump off that and jump on to My Jazzy Life and her video where she basically was saying about how she was venting or whatever and letting us in on what she was able to do after the kids actually were in school. The thing I really have about this particular um, YouTuber is that I've noticed that, now I'm not saying she's a bad mom, but I've noticed that the little kids will be a little bit unkept. Um, their hair likes to need to be combed or whatever, but um, she's not as attentive to the kids as she should be, I think. When she's on live chat, sometimes she kind of neglects them or whatever. A lot of times they're crying, you know, when they're age group, there's a lot of things what they do. But I, I'm not knocking her as a parent or anything, but, you know, I think overall, you know, she got a little things that she might need to pay attention to, and considering that, you know, she's got younger kids. Uh, we got a chance to get our eyes on Strong Mommy Chrissy's baby. Uh, she did a live chat, and she basically was saying um, her feelings about the dad, basically, and what he was doing or what he wasn't doing. Um, my take on it was is that basically um, she kind of knew this, so she kind of just had to get to the point, I guess, where she had to vent. But it was pretty nice to see the baby finally. He is a gorgeous little guy. So congrats to her on that. Um, I think she's more or less wanting us to see maybe to the point where she kind of gave him an option and he maybe just wasn't ready to, as people say, well, uh, if he felt like that, if he came to see the baby, um, she wouldn't be to the point where he could spend the night or however it goes. And then he decided to go back home. He probably wouldn't have nowhere to go back to when it came to that particular woman that he was with. I mean, I've, I've given my opinion several times on that, you know. I think it's disgusting that a man would not only leave his wife, but most importantly, go and start a new life, but he wouldn't even want to at least peek at his own child. But she kept reiterating to the point where she kept saying that she knows that he watches her live. So I really was on the fence with that. I'm thinking that maybe she just showed the baby so he could see the baby, not necessarily for us to see the baby. But I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. But uh, either way, we got a chance finally to lay eyes on Baby Onyx. Um, she made a lot of strong points about the fact that um, she knows she had a right to be in her feelings, which she did. But my thing on it is I feel like she should just, you know, I'm not saying get over it because everybody has to grieve. My take on it is that she's giving him a too much airtime. Everything is about him. It should not be a focus on him at this point. It should be on the baby. Uh, if he doesn't want to see the baby, I wouldn't even mention his name in, in the particular eye. But I guess she knows what she's doing or whatever. But um, I'm kind of anxious to see more videos and see how the kids interact with the baby. Um... Maybe, you know, more. maybe I'm just the only one who's anxious. I'm trying to see whether or not she had a two side. Maybe she's going to have more kids. I mean, it's just a lot of questions out there we wanted to ask or whatever. But I noticed that, you know, she was trying to get a lot of uh, likes before she gave this news. We, we didn't see it coming, so we basically had to sit and watch. But um, overall, the video, I think, was very, very positive. Um... I just basically wanted to get on here and do my mukbang. You know, I got my my crab, my crab. I decided to get blue crab tonight. 
A lot of people don't like blue crab, but I personally like snow, but blue crab is pretty good as well. I season them myself. I put the Old Bay in there, and I'm going to use my beloved sauce, and I'm just going to get it in. Uh, how was everybody's weekend? I personally had a very, 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 very exciting weekend. I had some bad points that happened to me, but I think the um, overall my weekend was pretty, pretty good. Um, I went to see Tucker in concert, so hey, that was always a treat. Um, and also Labor Day was very, real good. So you know, overall, I had a pretty good weekend. But um. Um, I do a lot of seafood boils, so I try to, you know, do different, like, seasonings on there or whatever. Um, I'm thinking about <clears throat> doing boils and maybe giving them to the people, see how they like it or whatever. Perfecting my sauce um, to my liking. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and just run away with you guys. And I'm going to say it again like I always say in my videos. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm a new YouTuber. I'll be doing more um, mukbangs, and most importantly, I'll do reaction videos. Uh, is there anything you want to see me do? Put it in my comments. Thanks, you guys, and, and I'll see you next time. Bye.